Hello and welcome to the first Vlogmas video. This is me actually attempting to do Vlogmas. So, if you like this type of video, definitely leave a comment, like it, and just get ready for a month full of my attempt to do Christmas skincare stuff. So, let's go. So, first things first, Christmas music. So, we got that blasting to get the mood going. And I'm gonna set up the Christmas tree. It's only like Black Friday, September 20 something. And I actually bought a Christmas tree um, like last year that I really, really like. So we're gonna set it up. And we also have another Christmas tree that we're gonna set up. But this is the smaller one. So this is fine for now while we figure out like where we're gonna put everything. Cause it's not the biggest apartment. I mean, it's a big apartment, but like for two trees, we gotta figure it out basically. But before we do any of that, I need to get caffeinated. I mean, I've already had a cup, but I need a refill. Cup. And I'm gonna put my agave on it, the one I get from Costco. I like this because it doesn't raise up my glucose levels, and I just put a little bit of it, and it sweetens it just enough. A spoon. A spoon. Okay, here we go. Mix that up, and I like my coffee black. I don't like creamer. I just, I like the taste of strong coffee. And I'm gonna go in with a scoop of the Vita Proteins Collagen Peptides. A solid way for me to get protein, and get some of that um, peptides and amino, amino acid profile for my muscles to repair at a faster rate than normal. And I love it because it melts perfectly in here. Tasteless collagen, I love it. So I get like nine grams of protein, I think. And it means amino acid profile and some agave. No dairy, nothing. Sometimes I add like almond milk or something, but not really, so. And this is my cup of joe. All right, let's go. All right, let's get Christmas in here. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna make cookies. And I'm gonna be good, oh, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Trader Joe's, what's it called? I don't even know what the heck the name is. It's Sedimentary, my dear cookie. And these guys are the best cookies I've ever had. I mean, you can see the layers here. I mean, you got like brown sugar, regular sugar, M&Ms, peanut butter chips, um, oatmeal, and we got the flour. There's also coffee in here. So these are just the best. It only comes out during the summer, I mean, summertime, the winter Christmas time in Trader Joe's. And it is my favorite cookie of all time. They come out just so chewy and delicious. And it's like a really good flavor profile. Like it's got all the flavors. It's not your basic chocolate chip cookie. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. And yeah, and there goes Steven. I don't know where he went. Literally all we need is half a cup of butter, softened, one egg, and two tablespoons of water. I'm gonna mix it all in here. Okay, so here I got the butter. Then the egg. I've never done this with one hand. <laughs> okay, oh god, wait, I need to do this again. Duh, this is why we have a vlog camera. Okay, one egg. Okay, we got the butter, we got the egg, and now we got literally the secret ingredient, or if not, the whole ingredients. So let's open her up. Oh, <gasps> there's a sugar. Mmm, okay. And see the magic? Oh, and I forget. It gets stuck in there, so you gotta kind of um, shimmy it out. Kind of like stab it a little. And then, you guys get your own mason jar. Like, isn't that cool? Like, you get something to keep. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh. That 
that's the stuff. Oh, see, and even we still got the coffee and the peanut butter and the flour in there. So I'm gonna try to shimmy that out as well. Okay. There we go. There we go. See, now you have your own mason jar. I don't think it has measuring. No, it doesn't. So I'm probably gonna put like flowers or some kind of like plants in there. Maybe skincare. All right. So here's our bowl. And then we're gonna mix. Now see, most people use a whisk. I don't like a whisk. I like using this because then once it's mixed, I can basically scoop everything into place. ended up doing it with just my hands it makes life so much easier and see now it becomes this nice little dough yes my hands were washed and as you can see it's got all that oatmeal and the M&Ms in there and now we just um, put them into the form you want put them in the refrigerator for two hours and then we bake them so let's do that Look at those beauts. Yeah, you can see the M&M and the oatmeal in them. Oh, beautiful. And it smells delicious in here. And I even basically got like an exfoliating experience in my hands because of the coffee grounds and the oatmeal. So my hands feel very hydrated and very smooth. <laughs> But yeah, so we're gonna put these in the refrigerator for two hours per instructions and just let them sit and set up the Christmas tree and then we'll bake them later. I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna do our tree while the cookies do their thing in the fridge. All right, wait. I mean, it's our smaller tree, like I said, so we're gonna have a bigger one, but we're gonna figure out how to do this. Right, Mr. Woodkin? Oh, yeah. Always snacking on something. All right, wait, take it out. Let's see him. Um, take it out. Oh, when a manger, no can sleep for Is it kind of him. The little Lord Jesus lay asleep in his bed. Thought you couldn't talk. You were chewing. <laughs> Still found a way. I like my tree. It's like, not frosted, but like furry. On behalf of the Academy of Santa Claus Institute, I would like to thank you for this lovely green award. You're welcome. The original winner couldn't make it, so we just gave it to you. Okay, let's set her up. So one out of ten. Just um how you do that. Yeah, it's gonna be like this. And it just slides up. Oh yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, and then it's a metal. Yay! Okay, it's on its four feet. And then oh the oh wow. You did that easily. Just stuck in there. Cool, cool. And we just start bringing everything down. It's got levels. I forget. Oh, right. This is like that. We still gotta fix it. And here is the tree. And then we gotta plug it in and let the light we show begin. Just put it here until we have to get new more extension cords. Perhaps. 
Okay, we're gonna plug in the tree. Ready, Whitkin? <laughs> Good torque. Yay! Ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da. Yay! This is our mini one, so we got a bigger one, but still, it's really nice. Actually, it's nicer. This is its bald spot. Okay, there we go. That's better. <laughs> And now we have to do decorations. Yay! But ta-da! That is the tree. My mini tree I got at Target a year ago. I love how it has this kind of like fur. I love it, I love it. Okay, so basically we're set up. We got the Christmas tree here, it's so nice. We still need to decorate it with ornaments and obviously put presents under it. And of course, this is our mini tree. But we won't put that up until maybe this week. But I just got a skincare package delivered to me. So why don't we just open her up? All right, but before I show you the skincare package, I made a book decision. I finally got a book. And this is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. And apparently it's a best time bestseller. Best time bestseller. New York Times bestseller. <laughs> And so far, I'm really liking it. It's a book about basically the Midnight Library. So it's not, it's fiction. And it's basically this woman who goes into a library, a book, uh, library, and she gets to read books and kind of do do-overs in her life and see what would happen if she had made different decisions and different things. So it's really good so far. So far, I've got an introduction to her character, who she is, and it's rather well written. And I really like the cover. Really nice. But I'll let you know how it goes, but I'm loving having a book to read. I missed reading. Oh, so nice. And so let's open the skincare package up. Wait, I need to get a knife. Okay, I cut open the product. So let's see. I, I know exactly what it is, but I'm excited to show it on camera all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada. It is... Ooh, I'm so excited. Actually, I never realized I could have asked for a color. It is the UFO2. It is a Swedish brand. So you guys have probably seen this. Basically, it's a cleansing tool. And I'm an idiot. I meant a, not a cleansing tool. It's a skincare penetrator device. It's supposed to use LED light therapy to give you results on your skin. And it's also supposed to vibrate, I believe. It's a heated LED power mask, and it's also supposed to help you cleanse your skin, but you're supposed to use it um, with the mask they provide. Um, yeah, because it says here it's supposed to be used with the power activated mask. Um, and it only takes 90 seconds, but they give me a beautiful blue color. I like it. I would have never, never gotten this color, so maybe I am glad they got it for me. But they packed it in with the green tea mask you're supposed to use with them. As you can see here, from Japan, it's purifying. So it comes with six masks, and it's, yeah, in conjunction with blue light therapy, heat, vibrations, and the mask. So it's supposed to really deeply clean and actually get to the root. So it's a hydrocell face mask, and it glides the mask across the face and neck, and then you're supposed to remove the excess essence and then pat it in until fully absorbed, and then follow with your moisturizer or sunscreen, I guess, if you use it in the morning. And they also threw in the matte extra purifying charcoal mask. Apparently this is better for pore control and for blemishes, but I love green tea. Green tea for me works. Green tea centella mugwort, mwah, beautiful. But this also comes with six of them. But this has um, witch hazel, charcoal powder, centella, alentoin, panthenol, and some fragrance. So we'll see about the fragrance, but that's the charcoal one. And for the green tea, yeah, the green tea is literally the first ingredient in there. And then it's got panthenol, alentoin, oh, licorice root extract, perfect. And some other flower extracts. Looks really good, actually. And it just it has barely any fragrant components. I only see fragrance here, no limonin or linalool. So that's good. So I'm going to be pairing these masks with the UFO tool. I'm really excited. This is really cool. I've always wanted to try Foreo, and I've heard great things about the UFO too. So 
We're gonna see if there's gonna be results from it, and um, can't wait to use it. And today's Black Friday, so this is like my Black Friday purchase. Even though it wasn't a purchase, this is um, PR sent from Pharrell. So super cool. Let me know if you guys have used this and your results or what you guys think. But I'll be making content on this probably on my Instagram. So definitely follow me on my Instagram to check all of that out. But that's my delivery for today. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed or appreciated the glow going on today. I do have the Elta MD UV Glow Sunscreen on. But also, we're going to up the ante on my glow today. This is a new brand and this also arrived today. And it's by Ustawi. And basically, it's a skincare brand focused on individuals with melanin in their skin. We all have melanin, but basically, it's melanin skincare anti pollution. And for people who have more pigmentation in their skin, like myself, I have the Latin nu neutral complexion, and then there's people who are darker than I. And we usually suffer more from hyperpigmentation, dark spots, than more fairer skin individuals. So I really like their approach, and they sent over their bamboo water protective mist. So it's supposed to be like a last step for your skincare routine. It's supposed to have bamboo water, and it's supposed to have myrtle leaf extract, which helps like detoxify. So just keep everything on balance. Um, Biosaccharide, which is an environmental stress barrier, and baobab fruit, which is an African superfood with a lot of amino acids and vitamins. So it's basically building like a protective barrier over your skin. So it's supposed to be like a protective mist after your SPF or after your makeup or whatever. And so far, I tried it and I like the glow it's given me. I can go again with it. And it actually reminds me of something. It reminds me like the smell of like a um, like a candy, but it's like a natural fragrance. I can't quite pinpoint it, but I like it and it really gives a nice glow to the skin. Doesn't itch or anything. And I don't feel as dry, so it does feel like it's giving like a protective barrier. And once I touch my skin, it just feels nice and smooth and glowy and bouncy. Really nice, so I can't wait to um, talk more about this and figure out what it is. But yeah, those are the two deliveries for today. And this one's really exciting. I can't wait to try out the UFO 2 in mint. Okay, so they've been in the refrigerator for two hours, two plus hours actually. Now they've kind of got like a different form to them. They're pretty solid there. Look at that, sorry. I'm out of breath, I'm working out right now. <laughs> And the timer went off. And our oven is ready at a hot 350 degrees. And I'm gonna put them in. I think I need to take the wax paper off. I actually need to Google that. But they're gonna go in and then we're gonna see what happens when they're done. So it's nighttime and here they are. Just took them out of the oven. Ooh hoo hoo, nice, hot and fresh and oh, so soft. They look just like oatmeal cookies, but I mean, they're oatmeal, they're chocolate chip, they have coffee in them, brown sugar, everything. Oh, these are not healthy cookies. These are just delicious cookies and oh, it smells heavenly in here. I can't wait to do um, a first bite with y'all. Okay, and here is the, where is it? Oh, there it is, the, the Christmas tree, yay. Look how beautiful she is, she's so cute. And <laughs> Steven put Mr. Cheeky, as we call him, <laughs> as the star. <laughs> but it looks so nice in the apartment. I love it. It feels kind of random there. It feels like it should be there, but still it would be in our way. I might move it right there. But there it is. There's our Christmas tree. I love you. I can't wait to decorate it. Stay tuned for that and be decorating with ornaments and earthing. Can't wait and recommend me if any like ornaments you guys can think of because I have some that I just have throughout the years, but I don't really have any like specific spots I go. Like, I know Hallmark has like a bunch of them, um, but that could be quite expensive. But I don't know, let me know, let me know of any Christmas decor I could use and stuff like that just because I really want to decorate. But so far, we got the smell going on, we got the Christmas tree. Oh, I didn't even show you, we have other Christmas trees. So here we have our little mini Christmas tree that I got at Target. It was really worth it. It came with lights and it came with um, these little ornaments, which is perfect. And then this real life Christmas tree 
from Trader Joe's, which is doing a weird thing right now on the camera. <laughs> Probably because it's LED lights. But yeah, those are the Christmas trees so far. Can't wait to update everyone on the Christmas stuff. So hopefully this is cool so far. We got cookies, we got Christmas tree for the first vlog we upload. I think that's pretty good. And he bakes oh. too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we just came back from our walkies. All right, you you choose one. Which one do you want to split to try? That one. This one. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's split it in two. Yay! It's so warm and mushy. Mmm. Oh, which one's yours? <laughs> Okay, bon appetit. Mm -hmm. First the aroma of soft cookies. It's mm -hmm. my nose. And then comes the bite. The chew by the Jew. I think I did this well. Fair just enough it. crunch. Oh, mm -mm. you're just like I remember them. They're your faves too, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay! They came out exactly. Give me those M&M's. I remember. <laughs> M&M's, coffee, sugar. Everything you need. To die. To die. Hey, what's it worth living if it's not enjoyed? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And so many left. There, I just ate what I lost during my walk. Okay, good evening guys. Here I am with my whiskey. Ah, post-shower. So I double cleanse. Use my cleansing balm and my favorite Dr. Zenoyo Benzo Peroxide Cleanser. And now my skin is dry and we're gonna try out the Foreo. I'm like super excited. Okay, so here we are. And the instructions say to remove this part right here and insert the mask by removing, I think, this, I'm not sure. I think that's it that you remove. And then choose your mask. I'm gonna use one of the green tea ones they sent because it sounds to be more hydrating than anything. So we're gonna, oh, oh, but before that, apparently I need to use my phone. So we got the app here. And I'll probably put it here, but let's see. UFO 2. All right, how to use. Interesting. Okay, I think I did it correct. It's on here, and it's like a little napkin essence sheet mask that I took out of the green tea. And it's secured in place by the little plastic thing. And then it located it on my phone. So now I'm just gonna press OK. Use a circular motion as you gently glide UFO oh. across your face and neck, distributing mask essence evenly. Allow your mind and body to relax. Mm. As a oh, it is warm. <gasps> That is so cool! Mmm, allow your mind to body to... And it got warm, and it's a pure fine mask that's gonna lower redness. T-Sonic pulsations enhance absorption of the green tea formula, while blue LED light helps to diminish the appearance of blemishes. Wow, so the blue light as we know from my Dr. Dennis Gross mask. <gasps> and now it got cool. That is insane. No wonder this device is $300. Wow. I'm going to focus it here. Because that's what I'm breaking out. And here we're healing. It got warm and cold, and now it vibrates to really let the essence kind of penetrate the skin. 
I'm not supposed to go around my eyes, just my face. But it's also pulsating, which is really interesting. Uh oh, the mask became unattached. Ooh. I think I did it too hard. Ah! Okay, now it's vibrating at a different frequency. Mmm. I can redo the treatment. I think I might do that because I lost the mask, the sheet mask, in the midst of it. So I think I'm going to reattach it. And do it again. Okay, I'm doing it all over again just to enjoy the treatment. And I'm going to do it less um, hard so that it doesn't come out of place. And there was more essence um, left in the pack. So I just put it there so that it might redistribute again. Okay. Well, so far, wow, it got so warm. That's amazing. Wow. I love that the phone, I don't know if you can hear it on camera, it's legitimately telling me what the light is doing. And the blue light is killing acne, causing bacteria. And allowing the green tea complex to enter the skin. And now it got cool again. Okay, luckily the mask is still on there. It's becoming a little weird, a little um, fussy. Like little... I hope I'm not getting like little pieces of sheet mask on there, but yeah. Okay, we'll be back once I'm finished. All right, and it's done. So now I just do this, hold it to turn it off, and then I rinse it underwater to clean it. Um, and there's still essence on my face, so we're just gonna tap it in. Okay, so that experience was fascinating. It vibrated, did blue, green, purple LED lights. The essence itself feels nice and light. Um, I mean, it's basically green tea in there, some panthenol, alatoin, and it's sinking in really nicely. It doesn't feel thick. And I don't know, my skin feels nice. It doesn't look agitated. But we'll have to keep using the green tea to see how the benefits are. But I can totally see myself using this after a sheet mask with it, obviously or with an essence if I put a lot of essence on. Dude, I'm super excited to use this. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish the rest of my routine and um, I'll see you after. That was super cool. Let me know if you guys have used the UFO too before. All right, guys, that is the end of my first Vlogmas. I'm gonna try my very best to upload on the daily, even though I heard this is really difficult, but this is really fun and I like how it's not very like professional and it's not very like scripted, it's just, it is, you know? So I'll make sure on the days that I don't, um, because I'm probably gonna crave some reviews on sunscreens or maybe some holiday buys. So for those days, I'm gonna save my energy for that and not do one of these. But let me know down in the comments what you wanna see, what you like, what you don't like. I'm really looking forward to this and I hope it's as much fun for you guys as it is for me. All right, I'll see you in the next one.